What is good, Gabba? So today I'm gonna to be basically vlogging a day in life, and we have a special guest coming in today. I'm not gonna tell you who it is, but he's like literally one of my best friends. You all fucking love him. I'm excited for him to get here. He gets here around 5:30, which is actually perfect because I have a meeting at two, so I can pick him up from the airport and work out, or do my meeting, work out, and then pick him up from the airport. So today I messed up a little bit of my training schedule, but I need to hit him, so I'm gonna be hitting back and legs today so it's gonna be a rough day and i'm gonna be vlogging i still have not done like one leg day on my youtube series this past like couple weeks so i was like fuck it i'm just gonna run legs and back today and then i'll just give you all like, a quick montage give you all into like my training tips and what i'm doing when it comes to terms of my back because my back is lacking but before then i'll give you a physique update because right now we're about four and a half five weeks out from comp all right so this is what we're looking at probably like five five and a half weeks out relatively pretty lean. We're still, we're weighed in at 206.2. Yesterday was my lightest day. Ooh. But we're looking pretty solid right now. I'll show y'all the back. So we're looking pretty decent. When I said prep is getting hard, prep is gonna get hard. Um, it's actually been pretty fucking slight these past like month, month and a half I've been on prep. It's like honestly been like really easy. But this week is gonna get a little tough because my coach informed me today that we are gonna be dropping my food, keeping cardio and everything the same. So right now I'm at cardio five days a week for 30 minutes. And right now I'm eating 2,300 calories and that's probably gonna be dropped to probably like 150 to 200 calories. So in these next two and a half, three weeks, I will be <clears throat> basically ready to hop on stage. Um, and then this next week to two weeks of, of a little bit of a struggle, uh, my coach said he's gonna start giving me more food to keep me more full but also making sure that I stay just as lean. So yeah, it's gonna get rough boys, but <clears throat> we're already making solid progress. We're literally just a few body fat percentages from being ready to hop on stage. Um, everything's been going great. Uh, diet's been amazing, training has been amazing. A uh, Little bit low on energy some days, uh, especially after I work out. Literally wanna fall asleep every single time like in my car after I work out, but nowhere near to the point where your boy wants to tap out of court yet. We're making a lot better progress than I thought we would. But I am about to go get some work done and then around 11, it's 9.30 now, we are gonna to head to the gym and go knock out this leg uh, and back workout and then we'll go pick up our special guest here today. Kings, okay, so we just got a second meal in. Uh, about 30, 45 minutes ago, uh, six ounces of chicken, 62.5 grams of rice, and didn't have my asparagus today, so I had to eat like 50 grams of spinach, which still doesn't add up to the calories, but fuck it, it keeps me full. Um, and now we're about to head to the gym. I'm gonna hit some legs and back. Pretty excited, but I'll show you the pre-workouts that I'm running today. All right, so we're gonna be running some nitric pump powder, and then we got one scoop of Godzilla. Today is actually gonna be like the last full day I can have caffeine, so your boy is gonna be hurting tomorrow, but this is what we're running today. I actually really like these. The taste is kind of gassed together, not gonna lie. So if y'all have both of these, definitely try them. I think you'll like it. I think it's definitely a good balance. I think Godzilla has like 230 grams, uh, milligrams of caffeine for one scoop. And then also the pump, the like the nitric in there is pretty high and also the pump powder. So I get a stupid ass pump off both of those mixed together. Code Z. So if you like rice, make sure you use Code Z, 15% off. It helped me not be a broke boy because I am spending so much money on food for the prep and other things like that. I have to get, I think my NPC card, I have to get my trunks for my show, I have to get my spray tan. So we're about to drop a fucking bag and an Airbnb. We're about to drop a bag for my comp. So it helps you boy out a lot. Love all y'all so much. And the same thing with Anaka. Code Zay gives you Tim Sin off. We just got to the gym, um, had a meeting with my coach, everything went amazing. Food's getting dropped, uh, just one banana, so not as bad as I thought it was. So I'm really not gonna be suffering that bad. Um, I'm gonna replace it a little bit with vegetables, so we're still gonna be pretty satiated and full. Um, coach said I'll probably be ready, stage ready in probably the next week and a half, two weeks. So everything's about to be amazing. But I am about to crush this leg workout real quick and then I gotta go to a meeting. After my meeting, I'm gonna come back and hit back. And I'm just gonna do a quick montage of what I'm doing, um, everything like that. And I wish I could put the sets of reps and shit like that on my channel, but I don't know how to edit that in there.
All right, so we're halfway done with our back. Not gonna lie, I'm dying right now, guys. It's like, fuck, it's 3.30. I haven't eaten since like 11. I'm on meal two. And we still have cardio to do. I'm probably gonna do it either here at the apartment because I gotta pick up somebody from the airport, but we're dying. But we're gonna make sure we knock this shit out. I'm not gonna be a pussy. It's my weak, stage, my weak point on stage. And I'm just gonna knock this shit out as much as possible. So we just left the gym. We're on the way home right now. I gotta stop at Walmart to get groceries for prep. I literally bought eight things of asparagus, which is usually like 150 grams of asparagus or 200 grams of asparagus. Ran out of it in two and a half days. So, and I have to get more chicken. And I bought three packets of chicken and I'm already almost out. So we gotta go to the grocery store, get our shit. So I'll do like a small grocery haul and show y'all the shit that I'm buying with prep. Also, right after that, I might have time to go change and take a shower. Then we gotta pick up um, our boy, I'm not gonna say who it is, um, from the airport. Um, so, pretty eventful day, honestly. Killed legs and back. Honestly, th that was probably like the best leg workout I've had in like probably a month. I've been low-key skipping leg kings, I'm not even gonna cap. Uh, we're five weeks out, four and a half weeks out from show. And honestly, I have not been worried about legs because I'm doing men's physique. So I've been focused more on my weak points upper body wise. And obviously my energy levels aren't, in high, aren't as high as they usually are just because your boy is getting pretty low body fat. I say I'm probably approaching 8% and probably by the end of this week. Um, so yeah, we're getting fucking peeled. In the next week and a half, two weeks, we'll probably be ready to step on stage. Uh, so energy levels have been pretty damn low, not gonna lie. But I crushed my leg workout was in a meeting for about 45 minutes and then we ended up destroying like our back like I'm talking about I could barely pull my arms back I had the most massive pump and my strength low-key is like high right now I have not lost if not gained strength as I'm getting leaner and as I'm going getting more depleted on prep which is really odd I need to ask my coach about that I mean obviously it's not a bad thing but it's like kind of weird um, but yeah boys we're, we're feeling pretty solid uh, this week's gonna be a long week. Calories got dropped, probably like 100 calories, 110 calories, nothing too dramatic. Carbs around 220, 230. So probably on this next week and a half week, I'm gonna see a pretty big like decrease in my energy levels. It's gonna be kind of a struggle, but this is what we wanted, boys. We're shooting for nationals and pro to pro, baby. Either this year or next year. But I will see y'all at the grocery store I'm about to be stuck in traffic, which is fucking amazing, but yeah, see you at the store, boys. I'm about to pass out. All right, so first thing, grabbing some almond milk. Unsweet and low in calories. We use the almond milk for like, literally barely anything anymore, just like oatmeal and shit, and then my French toast just a little bit, some egg whites. Um, I'm probably just gonna buy one thing of egg whites because I already have like two and a half, so. But I want to prep up because I don't want to keep coming back here so much. So I literally have to like bulk by every time. But the dope thing is a lot of shit is always close. Strawberry cheesecake yogurt. If y'all don't know what this is, bro, y'all have to get, get it because this shit is gas. 80 calories, 12 grams of protein. It's fine. I'm telling y'all, literally the toughest things about prep is that you're looking at everything you want to eat. Bro, I don't, I know this is weird, but I miss cereal so fucking much. It's like not even funny. Like cereal, burgers. In and out sounds gas. Chick fil A sounds gas. I miss all this shit. All right, so we ended up knocking that shit out pretty quick. Only spent around like $50. 
They didn't have any chicken breasts. I literally got one thing of chicken breasts, which a lot probably lasts me like literally like half a day. Um, it was like the little chicken breast tenderloin things, the small ones. So now I got to go either back to Walmart or Target tomorrow and get some more chicken. Luckily, I have enough chicken to last me through the night and then halfway through tomorrow. So yeah, there's more stress added on to your boy, which is fine. We pretty much stacked up on rice and shit like that. Got everything taken care of. Um, now I gotta go back to the crib, take a shower. Um, hopefully I have time for that, I think I do. And then pick up our boy that's getting in town, our special little guest. And uh, I'll vlog a little bit of the rest of the night, vlog some of my meals, um, cause my meals did change. And uh, yeah, Kings, we're gonna try to record a YouTube video probably every single day that they're here. And TikToks, try to be productive as possible, baby. All right, King, so it's all about 7.05 right now. Our boy just got here. I'm not gonna put him in a video tonight. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. Jay, David, and my boy just went to the gym. I already went, and they just left right now. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to put him in the video. So I'm gonna decide to end this video off. I'm gonna make it real short today. We're gonna record tomorrow. I'm gonna record a workout with my homie. And I'll basically give you all a prep update when it comes to terms of my diet. So right now, we're at uh, 200 and 88 calories, uh, 222 carbs, 278 grams of protein, and we're still probably at like 32, 30 fats every single day. Uh, right now, we're pretty fucking lean right now, and I will also give you a physique update tomorrow, what I'm looking like. So right now, I'm waiting at 206.2, pushing around 8% body fat, so in the next two weeks, I'll probably be stage ready, week and a half. So. Um, Calories and everything just got dropped today, so I'm probably gonna be seeing major changes in my physique in the next week. So I'll definitely be keeping you up with that um, all week long when it comes to the terms of how I'm looking, my diet, and everything like that. But if you stay to the full uh, video, thank you all so much. I appreciate it. And we're just finishing our French toast. Uh, it's literally my favorite meal of the day. And I am about to go edit this video, get everything done, and get set up for tomorrow. But love y'all, kings. Thank you for fucking watching this video. And I will see y'all. I'll probably have this YouTube video out maybe tomorrow and then another one this Friday or Saturday. So.